KTM just revealed the 2022 890 Duke R, and we're expecting an 890 GP model to be revealed this month as well. Hello everyone, I am Mike, and welcome to New Bike Mike, where I like to share information about new bikes that I find interesting. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, then please remember to hit the subscribe. After all, it is free. Still agile, but with more punch. The KTM 890 Duke R takes all the things that you love in the KTM 790 Duke and turns it up a notch. This mid-weight naked bike is equally at home on the mountain roads as it is on the racetrack, delivering more power and more torque than the 790. Since KTM introduced the 890 Duke R in 2020, they refer to this bike as the Super Scalpel. Let's see what they're giving us in this package. They claim to be the king of the middleweight naked segment. 1. Engine while developed from the parallel twin that powers the KTM 790 Duke, we find an increased bore and stroke, higher compression, and a higher RPM limit than the 790. The end result is an impressive 121 horsepower and 73 foot-pounds of torque. We have aluminum crankcases to allow for reduced weight, but heavier crankshaft and flywheel setup for a bump in torque. KTM developed a cylinder head for the 890 Duke R to accommodate larger intake and exhaust valves. We also get a slipper clutch to prevent rear wheel lockup under hard deceleration or when downshifting and allows us to maintain a lighter feel of the clutch. All this power is delivered to the ground through a six speed gearbox and chain final drive. A stainless steel exhaust adds a nice touch to the performance minded machine as well. 2. Chassis You know the frame is a KTM R because it's painted orange. We have a tubular chassis brought over from the KTM 790. The subframe is cast aluminum and houses the airbox to reduce weight and complexity. Everything is cast into two connected pieces. The die cast open lattice swing arm is designed for optimal stiffness and increased stability as well. We get WP Apex adjustable suspension in the front that allows the riders to change the setup to match the riding need whether it is a desired track like setup or street riding. In the rear we also have a fully adjustable WP Apex shock with high and low speed compression settings as well as rebound adjustments. When it comes to suspension travel we'll find 5.5 inches in the front and 5.9 inches in the rear. 3. Wheels The 890 Duke R comes with extremely lightweight light alloy wheels finished in signature R orange. These help drop the overall weight but also minimize that unsprung mass which helps improve the feel as well. For rubber we find a set of Michelin Power Cup 2 Hypersport tires running a 120-70-17 in the front and a 180-55-17 in the rear. I'm sure these things are fantastic and look super sticky on the track or dry surfaces. 4. Brakes With this bike developed for the more racing oriented rider the brakes have to be top notch. We find Brembo Stalima monoblock dual 4 piston radially mounted calipers in the front with a 320mm floating disc. To add to the braking we have a Brembo MCS master cylinder which allows for the rider to adjust the lever ratio and brake feel. In the rear we get a Brembo single piston caliper floating on a 240mm rotor. 5. Ergonomics Well it's pretty obvious with the way this bike is meant to be a track bike as well as a street bike that it's going to have a racier riding position. Up top we get tapered aluminum handlebars that the rider can tailor to meet their preference with three rotational adjustments and four positions of fine tuning on the triple clamp. 33 inches off the ground you'll find the stock seat and even though the pillion seat comes as standard equipment you also get the Duke signature cover to maintain that race ready appearance. The foot pegs are positioned higher and further back to help increase the lean angle as well. 6. Tech Now you know a bike with a track and street oriented focus is going to have rider aids. The 890 Duke R uses cornering ABS and cornering MTC which is motorcycle traction control with a 6D lean angle sensor that not only detects the side to side roll and forward and backward pitch movements of the bike but also the rotation of the bike on its vertical axis. This translates into a comprehensive traction control management accomplished by the use of wheel slip sensors and pitch angle control sensors. A selection of rider modes named Rain, Street, Sport and an optional track mode ensure full rider customization. 9 levels of adjustable traction control slip, anti-wheelie on and off, and the additional throttle control settings. 7. Colors and Price For 2022 this motorcycle now features a premium hue of matte paint called Atlantic Blue. Typical of all KTM R models, the signature orange frame continues to provide the perfect contrast of colors while strengthening the ready to race presence. 
The 2022 KTM 890 Duke R should arrive on authorized KTM dealer floors in February of 2022 and onwards. While no price was given in the announcement, you can expect this bike to be $12,000 or more dollars in the U.S. based on the 2021 pricing model. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps the channel grow and subscribe if you want to see more videos from New Bike Mike. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.